this is an air vac and I actually built this myself um, after watching this video and this is the Kaizen foam and that's what I'm going to do in my other boxes so air, air vac makes these and um, it's basically a venturi I put a little regulator on it um, this is the vent <coughs> uh, this is the inlet and this is the uh, connection to your um, to your tank so you can throw a vacuum on a tank in case you gotta pull a big valve or multiple hoses or whatnot I've had these in the past <coughs> um, running off the vacuum in a truck um, but you can pull oil um, it, depending on where you the location and how much uh, you know oil you know how big a hole you've opened up in the system so um, I think this is going to work really well um, this is a um, is a vacuum gauge and it's set up um, to adapt into uh, the top of the hydraulic tank on the Tiger Cat. Um, so. so what this is for, and I've run a couple different uh, setups of these on different service trucks. And it, so basically you're putting a vacuum on a hydraulic tank and then if you've got a major hose or a major component to, to remove, you can, by putting a vacuum on the pump or, or on the tank, you can hold the oil in and not create such a mess, which is becoming increasingly important today. So... Anyhow, it's pretty simple. <clears throat> um, the machine, unfortunately, is 150 miles away right now, so we're not going to have that to, to, to use. Um, and kind of a disclaimer, I haven't used this yet. I haven't had a need to, but i uh, kind of looking forward to it, actually, when I do need to. Something that on bunchers in the past that can really be uh, a, a mess is uh, the... Um, hydraulic hose for the final drives because it's at the bottom of the machine and they're number 16s or number 20s and it's a long hose it's kind of a booger to get to and get out and um, because it's at the bottom of the machine you have the potential for you know losing a lot of oil so one of the downsides to that is oftentimes if you lose them and it's a serious failure you're often at the bottom of the hill. So um, these won't be all that handy at that point if the service truck is at the top of the hill. But anyhow, so here's what we got. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple. To, you know, I've got a drain hose here, and that's just vinyl tubing or PVC, I think, and it's got a, a press-on uh, fitting. And then it's a section of quarter-inch airline, uh, male-to-female quick couple. And then the, the air vacuum itself, um, uh, this component right here made by AirVac is a Venturi. And then I um, added a little uh, regulator with a gauge. And then this is the input, you know, so this will accept the line coming off the service truck. And this is the output. And so we'll use this quarter inch line to run to the tank. And then this is a vent here. So the air comes in. Um, it actually, I believe pretty much what it does, it vents through the venturi. And by doing so, um, it creates a vacuum. It pulls a vacuum in this line to the tank. So then the third thing I just set up was a, an adapter. Um, this is one inch pipe, um, and that will, um, you just spin out the little vent that the Tiger Hat Cat has there at the top of the hydraulic tank, and then Teflon tape that up and just spin it in. And this will accept um, the other end of the quarter inch line. And I put a vacuum gauge on it here. This is some stuff that I had from another system that I, I put together. And that was a little bit simpler. Um, it just utilized the vacuum on a pickup truck. You can just tap into one of those vacuum lines. And, uh, you know, one of the downsides to that is it works fine. Um, 
and uh, I used it on I've used it on several different trucks. But you can pull oil um, if you have like a big hole. You know, you've removed a valve or you know a series of hoses or something. You can you know the the vacuum will kind of start pulling that air through and it'll bubble in the tank and you can actually get oil coming back through the line and in the pickup truck i think that i probably in one of my trucks in particular um picked up oil and i never really heard it but as far as i could tell but it it doesn't seem like that's all that ideal so like i said a lot of this stuff is pretty simple uh vacuum gauge some fittings um you know, airline adapters, adapters for whatever tank specifically you're going to use. Um, and probably with this, I might, um, you know, in my case, uh, um, if I have some different tanks that I ended up use, using it on, I'll probably have some different adapters that I could just add to here. But this is specific to the Tiger Cat at this point because that's my machine. So I just have that one inch uh, male pipe there. And the AirVac, you know, this is kind of interesting. Um, I first got kind of interested in setting this one up um, after uh, uh, seeing a video um, from Off-Road Wrench, and he mentioned it. And like I said, I've had these before, but I like the sound of it. And um, so I looked around online, and, you know, Cat sell, Caterpillar sells an air vac set up, you know, for putting a vacuum on a hydraulic tank. And it actually, it, it's just this component right here. And, you know, typical Caterpillar, nothing against their equipment, but they are awful proud of their stuff. And I think it was like 250 bucks for that, you know, the Venturi itself. So I looked around and found, you know, air vac. And I ended up getting this one, um, from, I think it's uh, Ragnar Industries or Airvac um, for like $69. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of these fittings I had, um, this is a little Norgren regulator. It's a little bitty one. Um, I actually ended up getting this used off of eBay for $10 delivered, and uh, it's basically mint. Um and, you know, I, I changed the configuration around a little bit um, for what I needed, but some other fittings. And, you know, I did buy another Harbor Freight uh, case for it, and I used that uh, Kaizen foam to hold it like you saw. And, uh, you know, those are only like 30 bucks. So, anyhow, here we go. So, um, you know, the airline would come in from the service truck. I have that, my you know, that is a 40-cubic um, uh uh, 40 cubic um, foot uh, compressor, and it it's it's uh, puts out that pressure or that volume at 165 psi to hit the truck's tank. I have that regulated at the Norgren regulator um, in the truck down to 110 because that's what the uh, the hose machine crimper asks for. So. I think with this regulator, it's kind of trial and error. It depends a little bit on what you're doing to the machine. But um, I'm gonna, I think the first time I use it, I'm going to probably set this at, at uh, um, probably about uh, 30 PSI to see what that does for it. Because you don't want to pull it too much. You don't want to pull it too little. And part of the reason that I have these different or this kind of long line is I, if I'm working, let's say, underneath the machine, I kind of like to have this here and then I can kind of play with it when I actually break the connection. Um, you know, if oil's coming out, then I could, you know, turn this down a little bit so that, you know, the, it's, you know, putting more pressure on the tank. Um, and I don't know if I'm ever going to pull oil, but I put, I want to put, put this on. Um, the vent and run it into a waste oil jug just in case something does come out. And this is clear so you can see it. So basically what would, you know, the setup would be, would be um, this line here would connect in on the output from the air vac. And that would run up to the adapter and the vacuum gauge at the hydraulic tank. 
And then this line here would just, you know, thread on to this vent, and then I could run that into my waste oil jet. And then my input, you know, from the service truck will be coming in here. So I'd be running 110 in here, and like I said, I'll probably turn this down to 30 to start with. So you fire it up, you run air through it. You can generally hear the tank will go, you know, will kind of contract slightly, and then you're good to go, you know. And uh, you don't want to put, you know, too much of a vacuum on it. That's why you can monitor it with this gauge here. So um, anyhow, so that's it in a nutshell, really. Um, and uh, um, I put it in the case because, you know, it's uh, kind of delicate and you, you're on your hydraulic system, so you want to keep it clean. And uh, so, yeah, like I said, I, I haven't had need to use it yet, but um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to when, when I actually do. So um, we really appreciate the interest and um, the comment, the question about it. And keep, you know, look down, um, there'll be links for the AirVac and the old Oregon regulator, nothing fancy. Um, I'd like to, you know, say that, like, the various adapters and fittings, I deal with it advanced here in Portland. They're a super bunch of guys, and, I mean, they really have a comprehensive selection. I've never really had them say they didn't have something for me. So, great bunch of guys there at advanced. So, so uh, with that being done, I'm just going to disassemble it.